Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Classroom Jeku Tio. In this video, we are going to look at heat conductors and also heat insulators. First of all, what is heat conductor? A heat conductor is a material that allows heat to flow. Okay, heat conductors are materials that allow heat to flow. Let's look at some example. The first example that is shown in this picture here is the base of an iron. The base of an iron is made of metal and it enables it to conduct heat. Conduct heat meaning the ability to make heat flow, allowing the heat to flow. Okay, the clothes can be ironed quickly. Secondly, is the bottom of a pan. Well, the bottom of a pan is also made of metal and it is very important for the bottom of the pan to allow heat to flow quickly so that we can cook properly. Next, as thermometer. Do you know what is inside thermometer? Okay, mercury is used to make thermometer. Why? Because mercury is a very good heat conductor. It can detect change in temperature very quickly. So the mercury that is kept in here will expand or contract uh, depending on the change of temperature. When the temperature go up, it expand and hence it will rise and you can read the reading of uh, the thermometer easily. Next, we'll look at heat insulators. Just now, we have looked at heat conductors where they are the materials that allow heat to flow. How about heat insulators? They are just the opposite. Heat insulators are materials that prevent heat to flow. For example, the oven gloves. Why do we wear oven gloves? So that while we take food trays or cookie trays out of the oven, using oven gloves, we put on our oven gloves, it can pre prevent our hands from getting scolded or from getting hurt from the very, very hot food trays. Because these oven gloves are heat insulators, which means they can prevent heat to flow from the tray to your hand. Next, the example for heat insulators will be cooking utensils made of wood. They are capable of preventing heat from flowing to the hand while you're cooking. Another good example will be the handle of frying pan. Just now we look at the bottom of a cooking pan that is made of heat conductor. However, many handles of your pots or pans are made of wood heat insulator so, so that you can hold on to the pan while you're cooking without your hand getting burnt. Next, the wall of an ice box. The wall of an ice box is normally made of fiberglass or polystyrene. They can maintain the coolness of the substances inside the box. So we normally store juice or any canned drinks, sodas inside ice box so that they stay cold. Why? Because the wall of the ice box can prevent heat from flowing in. The heat from the surrounding cannot flow into the ice box and hence they will be able they have the ability to keep the juices in it cold. Next we'll look at thermal equilibrium. When two objects are in thermal contact, they can exchange heat energy between them. That means heat can transfer or it can move from one to the other. And we have learned during uh, when we talk about heat flow that heat will flow from object with higher temperature or from hot region to cold region to the object with a lower temperature. For example, if there's a cup or a mug of hot coffee on the table. What will happen if you leave the coffee for a while? The coffee will actually starting to get colder and colder, right? The temperature will lower down. Will it turn into an iced coffee? No, not really. When will it stop? It will stop become 
uh, lower in temperature its temperature will stop dropping when the coffee and the surrounding achieve thermal equilibrium what is thermal equilibrium it means when they are in the same temperature in this case the coffee and the surrounding or the uh, room temperature become the same then the coffee stay that temperature so that is what we call thermal equilibrium well that's all from Jack Gutio in this video is a very short topic we learn about heat conductors and heat insulators we also talk about thermal equilibrium I shall see you in the next video okay bye if you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.